Welcome to Tonight Live. I'm Paisley Beeb. Looking for an alternative to Linden Labs? Late tonight, we will meet the folks behind Reaction Grid, the open sim project that you may have been reading about in the news lately. We then meet a really wonderful guitarist who, to say he is a Latin guitarist, is just too limiting. Aramo Texiera has a versatility that is just astounding. But first... I first met Delinda Dyson through the music scene here in Second Life. I can't even remember exactly how we met, but it seems I've known her for a long time by Second Life standards, over two years anyway. I asked her to come and work for me back in 2007 on Tonight Live, and she's been a big part of Tonight Live through thick and thin. Delinda is now producing one of my company's TV shows. Together, we created a new live music TV show last year called Live and Kickin'. It's broadcast on this broadcaster, Treat TV, and Delinda is its lifeblood, along with the musicians we are featuring on it. Welcome to Tonight Live as a guest, Delinda. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be here. It's lovely to hear your voice. Delinda doesn't normally <laughs> use voice in Second Life, so it's a bit of a, a, a mind flip for me <laughs> to hear you. Okay. That voice coming out of that avatar. <laughs> it's a very mm. nice voice. It suits you, actually. It's not... Uh, <laughs> congruous with your character at all <laughs> well i tried to make it like myself so you know it works <laughs> how did you find second life delinda well um it's actually kind of a funny story um i came into it because i was doing some research and um that didn't pan out but i found it interesting so i decided to take a look around and the rest is history here i am here you are so, yes. and you've been on a while now. Yes. 2006, was it? Yeah. Yeah, just before me. Mm -hmm. And let, tell me, why are you so passionate about music, live music in Second Life? Well, music really is the universal language. Um, live music especially um, transcends, it evokes emotions, really stirs the soul like nothing else I know. Um, it's a great way to raise awareness and funds like we did yesterday for the people of Haiti. Um, I've been to some shows here in Second Life and I will never forget them. We're really so lucky to have this technology. We certainly are. Before we start to talk about Live and Kicking, let's take a look at a short clip from one of uh, Live and Kicking's best broadcasts, I have to say, featuring Dexter Einan at his venue, The Biodome, if you just... Outpost on a svelte autumnal zephyr. I try to cruise the turquoise planet. A thousand miles from my home. I set coordinates to the outer rim. I kick in the hyperspace for a quick spin. I link up to Mother Earth to the 99 with this transmission. You're receiving Calling the heart of the Be in the light right now Representative of my 
right people in your sector. Call in the heart of Margay. Now that was an incredible show. And personally, I would say without bias, the most exhilarating and visually stunning show I've ever seen in Second Life from any band or any musician. What are your thoughts now, Delinda, looking back at that? To be honest, it was one of the easiest shows to do. Uh, Dexter has a full crew with choreographers, dancers, special effects people, and it's inc just an incredible venue. Um, how could you go wrong filming him? Oh, I know. It was amazing. <laughs> I know that when you knew a little bit more about what was coming out than I did when I went out to, to, to film it. But it was one of those things, as, you know, as I was watching it going, oh, my God, how did he do that? <laughs> yeah. What's important for you when you look at the shows, you look back at the shows now, we've done quite a few of them now, and you, and you watch the musicians that I know that you love and admire in Second Life up on Treat TV, bring broadcasts. What, how do you feel about that? Really a sense of pride. I think that um, we've been doing this for so long and just to see this really develop into what it's developed, you know, what it's become, it's, you know, all you can do is have a sense of pride. This is, you know, your baby, you've um, created it, you've watched it grow and it's just, you know, it's, it's, your, it's my baby, it's my child. <laughs> you know, we've watched it grow so, together, met so many different people and it's, you know, it's neat. It's really neat watching it come together. Delinda, can you tell us a little bit about um, what goes into the preparation of Live and Kicking each week? Oh, yes, um, definitely. We have to um, make sure that we get permission. Um, we're e emailing people constantly throughout the week, trying to get everything set up. It's really a lot of um, email tag and just um, trying to make sure, come up with different concepts, different ideas, and, and you know, throwing them back on each other and um, just trying to make a good show for everybody. So, what is the main idea for the show? The main idea for the show, hmm, how can I put this to you? Um, <laughs> it's about an almost microscopic sea urchin found in a Mariana Trench called uh, Live and Kicking Estrada Alicia. No, of course. <laughs> Live music is filmed all over the grid <laughs> and Second Life. Like, uh, like, and <laughs> like nothing okay. else you've seen. If you're missing <laughs> it, you are missing out. Believe me, I'm involved in every show and I still watch them over and over. I just, I love it. And I can't believe you were actually falling for that. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I will just translate that into English for you folks. What we do is <laughs> we look for a really great looking sim every week. In fact, we do a lot of location hopping. We've got a whole list of sims. Uh, and uh, then we have a great deal of fun matching those sims up with artists to help reflect uh, their personalities and their music. So that's what you're seeing up there. And some of the sims we've found, Alindra, are amazing, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> T tell us about the one that we found. Tell the audience about the one we found last night because uh, the show is coming up on Tuesday with uh, Strum Diesel. Um, Strum Diesel on Tuesday um, at this fabulous built um, built by hobos called Castaway Cove. Um, great artist, great build. You're going to love it. And uh, now when you're watching live on the web, um, we even have a fan chat that you can talk directly to us live. So it's, it's actually really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what it is, folks, at the Hobo Sim, Castaway Cove, is it's an underwater venue. So you have to get to it via a sort of a, um, a shaft, which you come down. It's very, I was really surprised by it. We were looking around the island and looking at some of the other areas because the hobos, um, if, for those of you that don't know them, um, are incredibly talented at building, building furniture and, and uh, terraforming these sims. They really are. They are. So, some of this stuff just amazes me, the clarity and everything. Uh, Oh, absolutely. Delinda, what are your hopes for tonight for, for uh, Live and Kicking for this year? 
well, after I can get over my stage fright, that's why you guys don't hear my voice that often. <laughs> I get very nervous talking. I think I need to take a public speaking class. <laughs> she, but, she tried um, to answer this whole interview with <laughs> gestures as yeah. she could. She's the gesture queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my ultimate hope for Live and Kicking is to cross over and out of Second Life, as it seems to be beginning to. Um, and I'm noticing some interest from people who are not, you know, on and around Second Life. And of course, I would love to see one of our musicians get a major record deal as a result of this. Um, although um, we do have some coming up who already have major deals and are musicians known around the world. Um, I won't give away any secrets right now, but um, <laughs> it would be really nice if we could see some artists really break, you know, break across, do some crossovers. It'd be nice. Well, live and kicking is just the most wonderful exposure for the musicians because they get a mm -hmm. half hour, basically a half hour set. And in, in, in uh, Second Life, it's very, very difficult to get any more than, say, about 100 people in a sim. And then you can have some people listening on the stream but Live and Kickin's pulling in um, over 10,000 views uh, an episode at the moment. So that's mm -hmm. huge exposure for the musicians who can have people not only in Second Life watching and listening to mm -hmm. them, but anybody on the web. And one of our, I know that one of our uh, goals this year, Delinda, is to try and make it a lot more RL friendly. So we're going to get the word out there in real mm -hmm. life and get people watching the show yeah. who have probably no interest in coming in mm -hmm. Second Life because music transcends all, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And it's, you know, it's... It goes above and beyond just um, how many people you can cram into a coffee shop, you know, with a little guitar sitting there or something, you know, or trying, artists trying to send out a hundred demo records and getting them back is unsolicited, so it, it gets it out a different way. It's a different venue. Before we, uh, we finish up, Delinda, who have we got coming up in the next couple of weeks that you can tell us about? Um, the next couple weeks, we have Strum Diesel on Tuesday. Um, let's see. Let me actually check my schedule. Just give me a minute here. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to sit and make you suffer. I was going to say, after that, I don't really... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've, I, I have slept since I made that list, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> Delinda, where can people find out more about the show? They can find it out at treat.tv treat or, treat or the Perfect TV. World Productions website. Yeah. Or even or iTunes even. now. iTunes. And also, Delinda has her own website. Um, and she always. Uh, puts the up upcoming arts up there and uh and yeah but once it's a surprise <laughs> a surprise it'll be a it's surprise a, it's a surprise time. until it's a surprise until the last minute okay <laughs> yeah that's the way it's going to be and if you'd like to um also the viewers can be copied over to your own website so anybody that wants a copy of a particular performance on their own blog can copy the html from the flash viewer and put it on your website and we encourage that of course because that makes it totally viral which is great for all the musicians thank you very much for being on our show today delinda it was a pleasure to hear your voice no, I want to hear thank more of that you. voice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get very nervous. Um, but I want to thank everybody on Live and Kicking Crew, Autumn Fox, Bella, Super Dave, and our newest member and my dear friend, Kalandra Zahn, our visual effects mm -hmm. specialist, and of course for you um, for creating and allowing me to produce the show. Okay, now I got to pee. Bye bye. God, did not did no one tell her this is a PG show? Did no one tell her that? <laughs> That's just so typical, Delinda. Thank you, Delinda. She calls out after her. <laughs> Up next, get your tango dancers and stay watching for Latin guitarist extraordinaire Aramo Texiera. It's up next. <laughs> 